Hi Gemini, this is Tracy from Northeast Tarot and welcome to your weekly tarot forecast for the week of March 18th through the 24th. This is for Gemini Sun, Gemini Moon, and Gemini Rising Signs. So Gemini, for this reading I'm using the Hanson Roberts Tarot deck along with the Moonology Oracle. And at the bottom of the deck I do have the Magician, so very nice. So this is an empowered energy. It's a very creative energy. So Gemini, when it comes to making changes or starting new beginnings, you already have everything you need to be successful. So there, there's maybe just a need to be confident, to believe in yourself, to maybe uh, get creative or be resourceful here this week, or maybe even you know take control, take matters into your own hands here. Um, the overall energy is the Queen of Rods. So no matter if you're male or female, very creative, um, ambitious, passionate. I view the queen or the king of, of rods as very ambitious, passionate people. They will make things happen. And so with this combination, that's, that's exactly what you're doing, Gemini. No matter if you're male or female, you're taking matters into your own hands here. You're, you're manifesting. You're taking control. You're getting creative. Uh, the Queen of Rods in particular is someone who's very optimistic, but she's a multitasker. She can handle multiple different things. So there could be some Geminis that you're multitasking here. You have a lot going on, um, but you're very positive. You're in a good place. You're dealing with it. Um, some of you, we have the Nine of Rods here. So the Nine of Rods is someone who isn't giving up. They're persevering. Um, but we have this optimistic energy as well because we have the star. And so maybe some of you have been waiting, waiting to be able to manifest or waiting to be able to move forward in this direction, um, down a new path. And even though maybe you're waiting or you're tired for some of you or you might have already gone through a lot with the, the Nine of Rods, this is you like optimistic about this, optimistic about the future, you know, so I really like your energy here, though. I think that some of you, you know, you've had to be very strong. You might have already went through some stuff. But, you know, this is you not giving up. This is you not backing down. You might have went through whatever you went through, but you're still optimistic about the future. Some of you, there is going to be some sort of news or maybe an opportunity that's coming in. I feel like with the Page of Cups, um, some of you are hearing something, there could be like an offer or some good news coming in for you, and, and maybe this is something you've been waiting on. Um, yeah, with the, the pages, the page of cups, the page of rods, I feel like some of you Geminis are hearing something. But this is something that maybe you've already waited on. So you're hearing something. It, it might be very encouraging for some of you, um, especially if you're already tired. And so for some of you, this is some good news coming your way. And that could be lifting your spirits, to be honest. Um, threes are all about growth. And we have the three of rods here. And so I think that for some of you, it's like, yes, a little bit more work is needed, but you're so close Three speak about growth. So you've already, you know, put that time, that energy into something. And you've had to wait. You've had to wait. Um, but we have the three and then we have the four here. So, you know, some of you are hearing something. There's good news coming in here this week. Others, you're seeing that growth. Things are beginning to happen. You might see your ships coming in. You might see that you're very, very close to a goal. Um, some of you, you know, you could be reaching that goal here, but I feel like a large number of you, I mean, you're just so close uh, and you're seeing that growth and you're hearing something here this week. Now with the pages and judgment, if you're waiting on like a decision to come through, you know, it could be a decision that's coming in and with judgment, it could be legal, but certainly doesn't have to be. Um, if you are making an important decision here, Gemini, this week, 
you might be hearing something and then with temperance and judgment you might be weighing your options uh, you might have to make an important decision but um, yeah needing to weigh those options or needing to take your time with this uh, and we do have the star with temperance here along with judgment uh, here in the spread and so I don't often see temperance and the star come up in a little spread like this uh, I don't see them come out together too often so for me this is representing that spiritual energy that spiritual guidance and protection so you are very much being spiritually guided here um, for some of you, the star can certainly confirm that you're on the right path, you're making the right decisions. Uh, judgment and temperance together can represent some healing. Uh, so some of you, maybe you, again, nine of rods, you could have went through whatever you went through. Some of you are maybe exhausted, um, but you're here, you're still standing, you're incredibly strong with the nine of rods. But you're maybe rising up from like a difficult time with judgment, maybe starting all over again, or just rising up from a difficult time. And again, this combination, even with the star, this is a lot of healing energy, but also spiritual for me as well. And so you're very much being spiritually guided. Some of you maybe as you kind of go through this process here, um, because you are manifesting, for some of you this is a journey, but as you go through this process, you could be healing, you know, maybe even slowly, but surely here, healing as you kind of um, go through this process or you're on this journey here. So this is incredibly positive no matter how you resonate with this. Um, yeah, so very optimistic, passionate, fiery energy here. Some of you are hearing something, there's news that's coming in. Um, you're seeing that, that growth, you're making progress, uh, some more healing energy that's coming in for you guys. Uh, yeah, and, and we see that you're manifesting here. So overall, you know, <laughs> a beautiful week for you guys. Some beautiful energies that are coming in for you, Gemini. Let's pull you an additional guidance card, Gemini. So I want the card that is upright. That's uh, this one right here, which is very interesting. Okay. Because it's look at the bigger picture. Full moon in Sagittarius. And so we do have a full moon here this week. I believe it's on the 20th. Um, so yeah, if, if you are still waiting, but you are making that progress here, this week i think that those of you that maybe need to be a little bit more positive here um maybe you need to take a step back maybe you need to look at the larger picture there could be something that you're missing some of you might need to have a more positive perspective um and then those gemini's that maybe you're making an important decision if you are making an important decision um take your time Weigh those options, take your time, but maybe needing to look at the larger picture. So, you know, if you have a family, we have the four of rods here, or if you're in a relationship, if you're married or in a more uh, traditional relationship, maybe needing to think about everyone, um, maybe needing to think about everything. There also could be some Geminis that maybe a Sag, a Sagittarius person is significant. Uh, but this is very positive. All right, Gemini. So I hope that you found this reading helpful. If you are not subscribed to my channel, please do subscribe. If you are interested in having a private reading, please check out northeasttarot.com. Have a great week.